Alright. We're finally here with the finale of the Star Fox Adventures playthrough. But man, did it take me a while to actually have the time to finish up the game. <laughs> Alright, enough messing around. Let's get into the game. Let's finally finish up this garbage game. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it's not garbage. Alright. This feels weird that it took me this this long to actually get to the finale of Star Fox Adventures. kind of code. Hmm. Why not? love this game. That's not the right way, you idiot. It's this way. Yeah, pass. It's finally time to finish up Star Fox Adventures. It just... Why did it have to take me months before I could actually finish up the game? So I heard on Joris' stream that, that you've been doing good. I'm doing good myself. Rayman 3 Game Boy and Rayman 2 N64 took over. Uh, true, but don't don't forget it was also Mario vs. Donkey Kong. I did have to focus on Mario vs. Donkey Kong speedrunning.
Yeah, not only did I get the PB, but also the world record, which I can't believe I actually hold a world record in a, in a Mario game. Oh, come on. There we go. Well, I got that first try. <laughs> Oh, also the world record holder of this game has been routing uh, 100% recently, and I'd be interested in see how the routing turns out if he's to grind 100%. Also, pass. I like how you said how ten, how tense it was when I got to six six in Mario vs. Donkey Kong when I was so pressured on getting the world record. Now let's see here. Yes, I know how to move Fox. <laughs> it's funny how tricky swims. Yeah, it is amusing how he swims. It's kind of like a dog paddle or something. Oh, by the way, if you remember back when I... Uh, when I was doing the second part of the playthrough, how I would fo get Fox electrocuted, this is the last time I get to do this, so let me enjoy this. <laughs> I don't know why, but... I don't know why, but every time I see this, it's very funny to me. Oh, also, if you remember, it did damage to me, but look at my health now. Yeah, this time Fox doesn't lose any health, which is weird. <laughs> I am a terrible person who enjoys seeing Fox get electrocuted. All right, w one more time, one more time. <laughs> Stay. Two, three, 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 two, three, one, three, one. Mm. Okay. Three. Three, one, three. Uh, I can't, I can't pronounce that name, but hi, welcome to the stream. But yeah, the, the music here is very soothing.
So, uh, newcomer, how, how are you? How are you doing today? Is there any particular way I should say your name? Cause I don't, cause I don't want to be rude. Tricky was on his back. When people say the combat is button mashy, but there is enough attacks to spice up your combat. Yeah, I like to do that just to make it interesting if I want if I actually want to do combat. Oops. I have thought about speedrunning this game, but the thing is, uh, the glitches in this game, they're very complex, kind of like a Zelda game. And I, I need the time to really study how the how this game works. I don't know. Where is it again? Oh, right. As much flack as people give the combat, it at least it looks cool. At least, yeah, I think it looks cool personally. I mean, I enjoy the combat, even if it is very simplistic. Actually, what am I doing? Ow. I could do this. Hey guys, it's been a while since I played this game, okay? Alright, time for this uh, puzzle. Exactly, these are uh, shooting sound effects, you can hear them in Rayman 2 with uh, Falchion Axel. That's the joy of stock sound effects. Ah, uh, that's not gonna make it. Oh, pff, right, you gotta wait for it to go back up. Is it gonna make it? Yes! Yes, it did. Do this again. Stock sound effect, goodness. The the electric sound. Yeah, the, the electric sound, that's such a common stock sound effect they can do. And I still think it's fitting for this game. Whee! <laughs> oh, 
Alright, I'm full on that. I know how to aim. Anyway, let's finally turn in that final spell stone. Well, guys, we did it. We beat the game. together again yeah! we did it Fox we sure did guys, tricky guys, are you seeing this mission complete wait what what's going on we've placed all the spell stones we must be there missing must something be it, Fox. since you left Walt City I've been studying your mission and I've noticed there's something hidden at the top of that huge temple it looks like a Krasoa shrine entrance Oh yeah, I could have told you that. And well, why didn't you, Tricky? Come on. Let's get back to the hollow. Good idea, Fox. Come on, let's go. Another Rayman 2 sound. Yeah, the pot the pirate shot sound. You could hear that when Peppy buzzed in. <laughs> I still have the that comment you said in 17 minutes world record GG. Ah, uh, that was so good. Anyway, I need some magic. Still pass, why could why didn't Tricky tell us that there was a Krizoa shrine when we were in Walled City? Exactly. <laughs> oh, right, I, I always forget Fox doesn't jump off that bridge. Because with something like that, you think he'd auto jump, but no, he doesn't jump off that bridge. He just walks off. Those good old stock lyrics from Heart of Africa, Volume 1. Which if, when you heard me entering the, uh, Krizoa, uh, the Krizoa statue, I guess we'll call it, the music that was playing, it's actually stock music as well. Apparently somebody shared with me that that music was also used in Man vs. Wild. But that is, but past that is funny to think about how they use some Rayman 2 stock sounds into this game.
Eat that sweep kick. One thing I do like that Rare did with this game was how they did the environment, like sometimes how it rains and how it fogs and the lighting when it goes from day to night. That's good detail for a game like this. Fox, something is not right. The walled no city has not yet returned to the planet. My husband is still stuck up there. You did return all of the spell stones. We did, of course. but but wait, the spirits. Oh, of course, we need something to do with it. We need the remaining right. Krizoa spirits. Without all the spirits, the magic cannot be channeled back into the planet. Your boss said to return to the walled city. There must be a shrine we've yet to find. Sounds like a plan. Come on, guys, let's head to the let's head back to the walled city. He wasn't expe expecting that. He pointing out those Rayman 2 sound effects reminds me of when I was pointing out references while watching the Mario movie. I mean, I loved all the references they did with the Mario movie. Oh, by the way, past and everyone say goodbye to Dinosaur Planet here, because this, this is basically the last time we're ever going to be here. Bye-bye. Here we go. Hurry, Fox. There must be another Crusoe shrine hidden within the Hey Nas, thanks for the follow. When you land, go directly to the King Earthwalk. He should be able to tell you where to start looking. Happy out! Fly through seven gold rings to open the gatekeeper's force field. I'm surprised I gotta follow during a Star Fox event, a Star Fox Adventures playthrough. Superman 64. Oh, be quiet! Do not ever talk about that game in front of my face ever again. I'm kidding with the tone, but I, I just can't. I just can't believe they actually have that game existing. Wait, I should have I should have boosted there. You just couldn't help it. That game is so is so hilariously bad with its flying. That is an understatement. It's worse than bad. Fox, on behalf of Dinosaur Planet, I thank you for returning the spellstones to their rightful place. Well, it was our pleasure, but it didn't really did. help that much. If you didn't notice, you're still stuck up here in this floating rock. By removing the spell stones, scales caused our planet to tear apart. Returning the stones has stopped the flow of magic energy, but only by the power of the Krizoa spirits will the floating lands return. 
Seems like we both have our reasons for finding the last of the spirits. All right, we've heard there's one around I here. Find one here in the city. Do you know how we so could find it? it? The spirit will be revealed once both the sun and moonstones are returned to the temple. The sun and moonstones. All right, let's go find them. Also, a pass. I've been told if I want to, if I do actually want to run Star Fox Adventures, I've been recommended I should start with Glitchless. Also, be real, how does this puzzle not make you think of Zelda? Okay, just making sure. If I would have flown here without the, uh... The, the goggles, then that would have been bad, because I would have had to fly back to Dinosaur Planet. I need to get rid of these bats, they're very annoying. Where's... Okay, whatever. Oh my gosh, come on, camera. Can I do proper camera... camera manipulation? Awesome, you can involve your Pokémon with these stones. <laughs> ah, nice. Because sun and moon? <laughs> I'd stop. Hey man, just stop it! We can open the path to Hooktail's castle too. I cannot wait to play that on stream, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. But of course I'd have to start small with the original Paper Mario before I go to Thousand Year Door. Oh! Oh my gosh, I almost just I almost just fell off. Um flame. Tricky, come on. I don't know why you need magic to open this door, but... Hey, so you don't question these things, you just roll with it.
What? <sighs> okay, fine, whatever. I was about to say, if I miss that again, I'm shutting the game off. <laughs> Kidding, I wouldn't do that. Or would I? I don't know. Anyway, there's our sunstone. Now let's go get the, the moonstone. Hi, MZ. Welcome to the stream. This game seems nostalgic even if I never played it. Lol. This game is nostalgic for some people, but some people don't like this game because how strongly different it is from all the other Star Fox games. But this game holds a lot of fond memories for me. Like, even if it is completely different, and if it goes for a more Zelda approach, I think this is uh, one of the best Star Fox games ever. But it's also the fact, Umzi, that this game wasn't originally Star Fox. It was, uh, it was a separate game called Dinosaur Planet. Ah, uh, I should go ahead and feed Tricky. Now, let's see. Hmm. How do I go about this? You love making jokes that are linked to other games. I mean, it's true. That's that's always pretty funny to do. Um, how do I do this again? Wait a sec, I think I got it. Look at me using my noodle. <laughs> Good old block puzzles. I mean, I'm fun. I like them. Sure, they're not for everybody, but I like them, even if they even if they do confuse me sometimes. not get that. I could have sworn I stalled long enough. There we go. Oh, a quick question, Pass. How do you feel about invisible mazes? Because if you hate him, well, too bad. We're going through. We're going through one. Ah! I'm 
experience them in a couple Zelda games. I thought you wouldn't be a fan. But don't worry. I got through it. Yeah, I knew I was going to miss that cycle. There we go. <laughs> I don't know how those didn't hit me. Now we're gonna spawn in the Krizoa Shrine. I th Nidorina shall evolve into Nido King. <laughs> nice. I don't know a Pokemon name, so if I mispronounce it, I am very, very sorry. Uh, I was gonna announce something. Oh yeah, speedrunners with this game, they go out of bounds. They're able to air swim out of bounds, and they can actually unload this area, which actually spawns in the Krizoa Shrine. So you don't have to get the Sun and Moon Stones. Originally, there would be a way to uh, go out of bounds and having to put in the sun and moonstones, but you have to be careful of how you do it, because if you do it wrong, you'll actually softlock all your progression. Because there's a save and quit trigger inside the, the tunnel in the, into the basement. The situation is any percent too complex and glitchless too long, right? Well, here's the thing. Any percent now does a very huge glitch that basically cuts all the game out. But the original any percent called All Gateways, uh, it's about three and a half hours long, but Glitchless, I think, is about five hours long. And remember, most of, uh, most of the run does have unskippable cutscenes. There is a way to bypass some of these, um, some of these unskippable cutscenes, but you have to do a lot of complex stuff. Oh, and there's also another thing, the end of the game has a lot of button mashing. Hi, Cheeky Chunk, uh, welcome to the stream, and thanks for the follow. Uh, while I was offline. I'm on the finale of, uh, Star Fox Adventures. Like my stream title says, FINALLY! So, how are you doing today? Doing well, it's good to catch me live. Hey, it's, it's nice to see you while I'm live. <laughs> Waiting for mods to respond to a console split. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested in that. But I think that would be more fair when it comes between uh, Rayman 2, N64, and Dreamcast speedrunning.
I don't care, just burn me. <laughs> burn me at the stake. Huh. Alright guys, let's get this, uh... Let's get this test done. This goes to Cloud Runner Fortress. Um, what's that? Uh, oh, I think this goes to Light Lightfoot Village. Yep. This goes to Space. This goes to uh, Old City, and that last one goes to goes to where again? Uh, all oh right, the Moo Mountain Pass. Well, guys, we passed the test. Oh, by the way, guys, it, it, it's sad to say, but we have to say bye to Tricky now. Alright, Tricky, we have to part ways it, here. Tricky. It's time to say goodbye. I know you're right, Fox. It's just... Yeah, we understand. I know. We'll miss you, I'm too. Gonna miss you, too. Without your help, this mission would have failed. So, so I've got we have a little present for, for what you've done for us. Prince Tricky, Prince Tricky, Earthwalker, Earthwalker, we crown you a you member of the Star Fox team. Of the Star Fox team. Dad, did you hear that? Me, a member of Star Fox. Yep, you sure are. Do I get my own spaceship? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> I'll come and visit you soon. Same here. Just don't make it too long, okay? We promise. Be the first dinosaur in space. Don't make promises you can't keep a uh, fox. <laughs> Here we go. I mean, he does actually visit Tricky in Starbox Assault. Speaking of which, I, I gotta say the line. Yeah, I'll take care of things here, so you two can come back on your honeymoon! Uh, what are you, nuts?! We aren't- we're not yet- uh... <laughs> I love that. Oh, hi, Joris. Thanks for the raid. How- how'd your Rayman one go? Get that spirit directly back to the Crisoa Palace. I am adjusting your flight path so that you will land at the top of the palace. As soon as you get there, head down inside to release the spirit. Pepper out! Fly through one gold ring to reach dinosaur- Run died in Crystal Palace screen. Of course it did. What? Why should I- Why am I not surprised? Was it, uh... Not like four times. Ouch. Rayman saying goodbye to Sam, only to use him to cross another swamp, assuming Rayman 3 Game Boy is canon. <laughs> right past. So, um. Uh, I can't believe I missed that. Uh, was it on PB Pace, Joris, or no?
Yes, it was 119 pace until the Space Mama boss fight, then bad boss fight, and died in Crystal Palace. Ouch. That that hurts, losing a uh, PV pace run to either Space Mama or Crystal Palace. Well, here we are. 40-ish seconds ahead, again. Again, ouch. That's basically how I feel when I lose about uh, that much time or something to... I, I get what you say. I get what you said, Joris. But stuff like that hurts, like, if I'm a good pace and then I have a really bad end game in Rayman 2. And so, where do we go again? I, I think it's this way. Scam percent practice needed again. Right, scam percent, as you guys like to call it. But, alright, it, it's this way. We have to go this way. Well, there's the final Krizoa Shrine to get the final Krizoa Spirit. The good old dark graphics of PS2 and, and GameCube era. <laughs> anyway, good luck on your playthrough and the Rayman 2 runs later. You'll be hanging out here. Okay. Well, I'm not I don't know if I'm gonna do Rayman 2 runs. I think I might just do practice today. Because I think Rayman 2 runs might be tomorrow. Oh, uh, by the way guys, I'm gonna show off a... Uh, I guess a uh, oversight on the developers with, uh, with the final Krizoa spirit, but I'll... Uh, here's the thing, guys. I'll do it as intended, and then I'll show you what the glitch looks like. Though, I will have to make a save, uh, save file here. Alright, so... Alright, so after this, I'll make a save, and then... I'll show how it's supposed to look like. Okay, so save the game. there. Yeah! Oh! You may have returned the spell stones, but the war is not over yet. Now you must face me. You're on. Stop! Yeah. Scales! Oh! You are what? no longer any use to me. Who's there? Who are you? I demand you show yourself. I am the one you brought to Krozoa Palace. The Earthwalkers could see me, but you could not. I don't understand. No, I didn't think you would. Your desire for power overwhelmed you and blinded you to the truth inside. Now give Fox what he's looking for. Give him the final Krizoa spirit. Yeah. You will regret this. Yeah, right. <laughs> Oh, 
So it was inside General Scales this it whole time. It was in all this time. What about that voice? That voice. Didn't it sound familiar, Fox? it from somewhere. Let's see if I do know how to do this. Probably not, but I want to see. Fox, you feeling okay, buddy? <laughs> you referencing something there, past? Oh, interesting camera. Alright, so let's see if I can do this. Stop. There we go. Got it. Excuse me, Mr. Streamer. You're, you're, you're wearing scary. the wrong shirt for the game. Who cares what I'm wearing? Who are you? But yeah, I that you show I'm getting yourself. vibes from Rayman 3 when you get the power of you But you see what just happened, us. guys? The Earthwalkers could see me, but you could not. I don't understand. So what happened was I was able to... No, General Scales is actually inside would. the wall there. Your desire for power and I can actually... You. And get him to, to trigger this cutscene, now, and he does, he's actually he's not holding for. his sword. Give him the final Krizoa spirit. You will regret You entered the loading this. zone before. And then, well, I didn't enter a loading zone, I entered a trigger for the cutscene. But if you think that's weird, check this out when Fox gets the Krizoa spirit. All this time. But that voice, I recognize it from somewhere. I've been waiting for you. Fox McCloud. Yeah! You may have returned the spellstones, but the war is not over yet. Now you must face me. Anyway, that's how it looks like in a speed run. <laughs> how weird did that look? And why not make a save here? I know it looked very, very weird because it's actually combining uh, both cutscenes at once according to how the speedrunners know this game. Anyway, time for the final battle. What's going on? Didn't you say this would you save this Crystal? Would save no! Gotcha! Here, take our hand.
don't think that's gonna work. We will never kneel to you. Huh? Give me that. Hey, wait. Wow, way to be ungrateful. If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't be standing here at all. Yeah, you would have been dead without us. That's your stuff? Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> well, sorry, Crystal, but we gotta be going. Come on, Fox, let's go after him. Her English accent, lol. <laughs> I mean, that's how. That's basically how this game rolls. Alright, guys, this is it. Hopefully, my thumb is ready for mashing. You're not getting away from us. I've been looking forward to this day. To see you again, Fox McCloud. Andros! Andros! I should have known. And now, to destroy the Lilac system! Have anything to say I've about got to stop it? Don't worry, we will. Do we start the Fox yet? Nice one, Joris. I right, gotta conserve my mashing here. I'm happy this game does end off in a true Star Fox kind of fashion. Andros is back. Who who could have seen this one coming? I mean, I I'm pretty sure we almost all of us saw it coming. Uh-oh. Oh no, that's not good. What? Hey, McCloud. You're from Falco. Planet, and you still need Falco's help. It's good to see you, buddy. It's good to see you too. You came in just in time. Yeah, he's eating meteor so I can spit it back out at us. He thinks he's Kirby. <laughs> Dead guys. Just one more cycle. Yeah, I would. I would be scared of giant laser, firing monkey flying in space too. Hm. All right, thanks for understanding, Doris. Anyway. It's Oh, you piece of shit!
Anyway, guys, we did it. GG indeed. We beat Star Fox Adventures. But one thing's for sure, I definitely gotta get better at my mashing when it comes to hand draws. Because <laughs> if I'm to speedrun this game, you, you'd want to get him in like a two cycle. <laughs> in an hour easy world record. <laughs> uh, that's why I love you as a friend, Pass. You're so funny. Yeah, speedrunners can easily get two cycle hand draws, but. I did not this time because my mashing was not on my A game today. <laughs> oh well. Also, I got some strange patterns with Andros going like this. <laughs> Come on, Fox. Let's go home. So I wonder what's next for casual playthroughs. Thanks for the GG, Joris. I'm thinking maybe Paper Mario or maybe uh, some Crash game, I don't know. We did it, Fox! Dinosaur Planet is saved! Andros is defeated once again! Yep, you all and we couldn't have done job. it without you. General Papa here! Good work, Star Fox team! I received a message from the King and Queen Earthwalker, thanking you for saving their world. It was our pleasure. Oh, and Tricky says hi. <laughs> I was, however, very surprised to hear that Andros was still alive. You weren't Not the only as much one. as we were. It seems that Andros discovered the ancient power of the Krizoa, and by trapping Crystal, who had the ability to channel this power, he was able to use this energy to revive himself. Yeah, but not for long, says, thanks to us. See the last of him. I'm transferring your fee as we speak. Ever out. All right, now we're talking. Ooh, yeah! We can finally repair the ship. And I really need some oil. These joints are not what they used to be. And I can't wait to get back with the Star Fox team. Okay. Hey guys, you don't mind if I hang with you again, do you? Personally, I don't mind. What do you say, Fox? Sure, Falco. It's great to have you back. The Star Fox team is back together again! Oh, Fox! I almost forgot! What is it, Peppy? I received this message from Crystal. Hi, Fox. Hi, I really appreciate what you did for yeah, me. Thanks for the follow, so Gold Creeper. We didn't get much of a chance to talk. I'm left with just one more thing to do. What's that? And that's to say thank you. Oh, and no well, problem, uh, Crystal. Okay. <laughs> I mean, sure, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> You're not shy, are you, Fox? Well, maybe a little My slippy. <laughs> Fox's temperature is rising. Are you okay, Fox? <laughs> <laughs> we never felt better. I'm gonna be just fine. It's funny, Gold Creeper actually followed me when I was right at the, when I was right on the ending of Star Fox Adventures. <laughs> but I will say this this game was really fun to stream from start to finish, even if it's not a speed run. I could I could see myself speed running this game, but the thing is, I need the time and also the dedication. Gold Creeper, I'm, so, I'm sad I missed it all. Didn't realize you were doing a playthrough. It's okay, Gold Creeper. I mean, to be fair, you didn't really know that much. The Saxel, just like with Rouge and so Sonic X. <laughs> uh, speed runs take time, Sag. Trio Joris, it's just I need time to really study this game and figure out how glitches work in this game. But Goal Creeper, if if I am to speedrun this game, I'm gonna start with glitchless, cause I gotta start somewhere with the game. But I'm not gonna be anybody like uh, Celestial Force or Fuzzy, cause I am not good at mashing. 
compared to somebody like Fuzzy. Uh, but still, Gold, thanks for the thanks for the follow. I can't believe I got two follows during the the finale of this playthrough. <laughs> Uh, Steve Grom has says, Fox the Cloud. <laughs> but, Pass, what do you think of, uh, Game Ash Good and Rayman 3 Game Boy? Well, Rayman 3 Game Boy is different. Seeing isn't that important, like, at all. I know Gold Creeper, but the thing is, is that if I'm gonna do stuff like Dracor or Andros, I don't have a lot of endurance compared to uh, compared to other people. Because I got three cycle Andros, and my ma and my mashing wasn't even that good. Also, when I had to fight Dracor, I went through multiple rooms, unlike what the other top runners do. You always lose like two minutes to Dracor because you're so bad at it. Okay, that makes me feel a little better. Not to be mean. But, past, I think my next uh, playthrough might be Paper Mario on the N64. Your mashing is fine, it's just you don't know where to aim. You're like 30 minutes behind Celestial, though. Huh. Hadn't thought of that. It's just my problem with mashing is uh, I don't have a lot of endurance compared to other people. I'm usually good with mashing in Mario Party minigames. But, who knows, maybe one day I'll donate time to actually uh, learn this game, and maybe I'll speedrun it. Because I could see myself enjoying this game, but again, I need the time. Also, I think the version I own is uh, 1.0, which is automatically going to lose me some time. There's, all, there's always the short categories, like Spellstone 1 you could start with instead of Glitchless. I mean, I guess, but honestly, I'd rather just play through the whole game from start to finish, in my opinion. Like, if I'm gonna learn a game, I wanna learn everything from start to finish. That, uh, Gold Creeper, that's like saying this. With uh, Rayman 2 and 64, 